All right, I've got your satchel. Now, where's the camera? My God, you're incredible. It's in the trunk of a black car on the infamy bridge. Oh, that's not what I was hoping you'd say. No, that. Um. Let's do that then. A guy named Christoph. Is he around? Who? Oh, Mr. Gango? Yeah, I met him. Not sure where he is now. Probably volunteering oh. for a suicide mission. Of course. You wouldn't have to know where Christoph is, would you? Christoph? You mean the new scout? I was supervising all the scouts. Why don't you ask him? He's on the 19th floor. Uh huh. Have anything for us? Thank you. What's, the What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatine. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers. But they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. Okay. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Okay. Slow down, brother. There's a lot to be done around the tower. But out of here. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the infamy bridge. No, of course. Bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the infamy firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. Yes. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Oh, for Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yes. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame. Well, let's finish some of them. 
best, but have anything. A medic. Any more new clothes? Oh, we have a scout. Looks nice. I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot Dawood sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away. It's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one, one more thing. See. We're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. Okay. People are counting on you to help them out. Please, don't just stand around. Yeah, yeah, I'm not standing around, I'm just taking the elevator. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. I see. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call, and now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. Oh, well. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Nice ass. I mean, yeah. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here? It's so very sad. Yeah, I do. It's sad. Some meds, med kits for me. Ooh. There's nothing more you can do. Yeah, well, Rice can throw a lot more bodies at them than we can. No, negative. Cut your losses and get out of there. Copy. Out. Hey, Crane. Back from the field, huh? Hey, no, not for long. You know about a scout named Kristoff? Uh, the new kid, huh? Yeah, he went on a recon mission, but I haven't heard from him in a while. Rahim checked him out and said he was solid, but uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> One reckless kid certifying another. <laughs> That's what Brecken said. Of course, it could be just his radio. Some of the batteries are running down, so we're not getting much range out of them. Where was he headed? Out toward that newly constructed skyscraper. All right, I better go have a look. Hmm. Watch yourself out there, all right? Yeah. Thing is that I think I'm, I have a better chance of surviving than he does. On. Oh, no. <laughs> you yeah, Ryan's not gonna think so when I get done with him. I've got a better idea. Bring him this instead. It's the Alavon, a sleeping aid. Let him cook up a batch with that in it. It'll send Rice's goons off to Dreamland. I don't think Rice will like that. Hmm, <laughs> probably not, but they could use this sleep. And there's no more fennel nitrate, so I guess he's out of business either way. And I like your thinking, Iman. Hello, Lena. Let's hope to the... Brecken. This is where we get the announcements about the Antacine drops. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so are the free running? 
Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. So this guy, nothing more than a parkour instructor. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Wait, what? Do something here? Okay, up. All the way up. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? Scout from the volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives. Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Ah, don't drop me. Don't drop me. Crazy ass drunk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Well, that could actually be if we find some explosive. That. But what? <clears throat> oh, is Jade up here? Who are we going? To? This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then, and then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and the sin. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so...